welcome back to my youtube channel please if you're new to this channel subscribe like and comment and please always come back to watch my videos in today's video we are going to handle cylinder safety tips at home mostly for domestic use one <clears throat> among the things that you need to to know uh, about your cylinder at home what you need to do for example if you have bought your cylinder from uh, a place uh, your refilling place maybe uh, a gas refilling point or from a petrol station when you reach home make sure that you are putting your cylinder vert in a vertical position don't put your cylinder slanting make sure your cylinder is standing vertical is standing horizontal is when a cylinder is lying so make sure the cylinder is upright the cylinder is vertical or the cylinder is standing then also make sure where you're going to put the cylinder let your cylinder not be close to the sockets of the electric sockets in the house and also if you're using a charcoal stove in your house make sure your cylinder is quite a distance away from your charcoal stove Actually, I wouldn't encourage somebody to cook with a charcoal stove in where your gas cylinder is, especially when it is still having gas. I would encourage people to have always gas in a different place and charcoal in a different place. If you are cooking from inside, you can use your gas inside, put the charcoal, maybe or out, I don't know, but uh, take note of that. And also when you bring your gas cylinder from home, before you put it to use, make sure that your, your regulator is in good condition. Don't just bring your cylinder, put your regulator on and start cooking. First look at your regulator, look at the pipe. Is the pipe is still in good condition? If the pipe is not still in good condition, buy a new pipe and connect to your regulator and put it on your cylinder. Please take note of this. <clears throat> Another thing is that uh, when you put your regulator, when you fix your regulator on your gas cylinder, make sure there is nothing like leaks. The gas should not become should not come out of that regulator like when you put it on your cylinder there shouldn't be a smell coming out of your cylinder if there is a smell coming out that means there is a leakage on your cylinder after put you put in that regulator so immediately if you notice that please don't continue cooking unplug off the regulator from your cylinder and if you have a person or your delivery person or where you always buy your gas please if possible call the person to help you to identify where the problem is or carry the cylinder to your where you do refill from and let them help you identify where the problem is because when you put a, 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 a regulator on top of the cylinder, gas should not leak. There shouldn't be any smell of gas in the house. It should be a normal house without any smell of gas. In case you get, you get any smell of gas in the house after putting a regulator on the cylinder, please. That is already a sign of a leakage in the house. And the next thing you are supposed to do is to open windows of your house to allow that smell to go out of your house in case you insist and use that gas and the leakage is still continuing our whole house will be occupied by the smell of gas and the next thing you know is what i don't want to talk about please let's learn how to handle gas at home another issue would be like when you are, where your gas, where you are going to put your gas cylinder, don't allow kids always to play with your gas cylinder. 
make sure where you're putting the cylinder is safe from your kids. Actually, these days in the modern houses, people are building kitchens with where you lock a gas cylinder. I would encourage such uh, things to be built in, how, in, in homes so that you separate a gas cylinder from, uh, from the table where the children always move around and lock it there so that no one apart from you should be having the key or the man of the house or the, the woman of the house should have the key. No one should be playing around and dampering with you where they are put the gas cylinder. Another issue is if you are putting a gas cylinder in an open place, please don't put heavy weights on top of your cylinder. Actually, don't put anything on top of the cylinder. You know, there are people who have smaller rooms, then you are looking for where to put things in the house you are not getting where to put. So you end up putting other extra things on top of the cylinder. That might cause a problem to a regulator and gas <clears throat> maybe will start leaking in the house. So please let's try to avoid such things uh, so that we safeguard our homes. So also uh, let me repeat this, don't allow uh, any leak of gas in the house unattended for please try to check on that and also seek for expert to install for you your regulator in the house you know there are people like pretending alone that you know we have used gas for a long period of time and then you go home you mess up when you get a problem is that that's when you come out yet these are things that you are supposed to avoid earlier now there are also cylinders that are too old in the market <clears throat> very very old in the market uh, especially these cylinders are mostly used by the illegal refillers is going to refill cylinder bring to you at home next time he, he bring it he, he brings uh, that one back he takes it to another person again they pick the same cylinder they bring it to you you really look at the cylinder the cylinders are too old you leave alone these cylinders that have just scratches like the paint is off from the cylinder, uh, like maybe because of poor handling, the, paints, the paint gets off in some parts of the cylinder. But if you look at the cylinder critical, the cylinder is still okay. If, even when you look at the manufacturing date, it's just because of the poor handling, the paint gets off. But there are these cylinders, you really look at it like this cylinder maybe is even older than me. And you are also still insisting in, in using such type of cylinders. You know, let's not be mean to ourselves. We know also there are a lot of illegal fillers in the market. And they sell gas cheaply. And when you send a border border to go and buy for you gas, they will always go and buy from such people so that they get some discount from them. But meanwhile, he might not bring, be bringing for you as a good cylinder. Also, it might not be necessarily a good cylinder, but also maybe he's bringing for you gas that is not, if it is six kilos or 12 kilos, it's not exactly 12 kilos. Maybe if it is supposed to be six kilos, he brings for you five kilos. If it's supposed to be 13 kilos, he brings for you 10 kilos. Of course, you may not have something to use for measuring it at home, but still it will be on your issue. We are going to handle this topic in maybe the coming video we shall see how to handle <coughs> such things also um, uh, in case the cylinder is leaking in the house please and you have uh, removed the regulator from uh, from your cylinder but the leaking is still continuing Please remove your cylinder and take it to an open place where, in case of anything, it cannot cause damage to your house or to your kitchen or your, to your family members. Please take note of this. Um, 
I also say the check for any uh, uh, cracks on your hose pipe is very important. There are people who are using hose pipes for years and years, and you don't mind to check on. There are hose pipes that are really good that can take years, but please don't take things for granted. Keep on checking your hose pipe so that uh, you safeguard your family. Please, if this video have helped you, subscribe to the channel like the video and comment where necessary i do appreciate your support we shall be coming out with more videos to help you to understand the use of gas in today's video as i've said earlier we are handling how to use how to handle gas cylinder at home the safety the, the, the cylinder safety tips at home so please help us by subscribing and watch the video from the beginning up to the end and i do encourage you always to come back to watch more of our videos thank you so much look forward for the coming video thank you so much have a blessed day thank you